Joe Rozelle, look for the hope. But for the pain. Look for the pain. Joe Rozelle. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters, judges, and once again, family. If I'm speaking to you, family, I love you. And every message that I have for you from the heart, and I wanted to actually touch you on the other side of you, much like that bamboo seed. Who here has a dream or a goal that they want to see fulfilled before they die? Everyone in this room has raised their hand. I should. I should. How many of you like him? No one's raised their hand. We was a little boy that had a caterpillar for the pet. He loved this caterpillar so much. He nurtured it and fed it bees. He watched it climb off of the garden and every day so. The time came, the caterpillar to become a butterfly. So it became time for it to get back to the Harvest and to throw this up the cocoon. So it built a cocoon and broke it, at least that it took this caterpillar to hatch out of the cocoon and become a butterfly. He waited patiently, but then a day came where he saw his caterpillar cocoon, then he nurtured the leaves, come out of the cocoon, or try to come out of the cocoon. But he noticed the hole that the caterpillar made in the cocoon was way too small. He saw his friend, his pet, his, his, his loved creature struggling, struggling to get out of the hole. Of course, being a little boy and not understanding how it works, he says, I want to help my friend. He goes in the house, he gets a pair of scissors, and he cuts the cocoon. And now he has his caterpillar from back, safe and sound, so he thought. He brought it inside, he's trying to play with it, but he notices that the wings on the caterpillar are wilted, they're not strong, they're, they're, they're wet, and they're not, they're not able to make this caterpillar turn into the butterfly that you can see. Your body is still fat like it was before it went into the cocoon. A few days later, that actual butterfly died, that, that caterpillar died, and the boy was destroyed. But what he didn't understand was, that caterpillar had to go through that tiny hole to squeeze the blood out of its body and into its wings in order for it to be able to become a butterfly. You see, that caterpillar had to go through the pain in order to become a butterfly. Now he wants to see some pain. When I decided to start lifting weights, I stopped frequently because of the pain. It was too hard, too difficult. In the gym, and on the psychological side, my friends were making fun of me for not being strong and being too old to start off doing this, and I should be doing high school. So I have the psychological pain and the physical pain eating away at me, and I was afraid. So for weeks, I didn't give it my all. But then I saw a quote by Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he said that he found that pain was necessary for his muscles to grow. And since he wants to be the best bodybuilder he can be, and be the strongest, and, and be the fullest as far as his appearance, he had to go through enough pain for that to happen, so he looked for the pain. That completely changed my lifestyle, and the way that I looked at everything. I decided to start working out 5 o'clock in the morning, and any other opportunity that I got looking for the pain. I felt the workout wasn't strong enough unless my muscles felt engorged with the blood, and I felt... Psychologically, but I was just grabbing like a whole out of his clothes. You understand? And I had benchmarks because I'm coming from behind. So I've never been in a gym until I was 28 years old. So when I see people in the gym that have been doing this for years and they're working out with 225 pounds against nothing, and I'm sitting there with just a bar by myself struggling, I knew one day I'd be able to achieve that type of strength. When the day came for me to try it out with 225 pounds, it was easy for me. So what I once thought was so hard, what I once thought was so difficult, which most people that are in the gym that are starting out, that are trying to get in shape and change their lives, when they get that first little bit of pain, they run. They, 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 they hide. And they live in a, basically in a, in a body of their doubts and their fears. 
I want you to know that you are going to die if you don't see the things fulfilled. And I don't mean that in a literal term. I mean that in the sense that your dreams not accomplished, your dreams not realized will kill you inside when you see someone else accomplish what you wanted to do. Even if you see someone trying to do what you once wanted to do, it will kill you. It will eat you from inside. These people that have wanted to get their college degree that weren't able to, and they go to see their little niece or their little nephew graduate, and they're like, man, 10, 15 years ago, that could have been me. All she did was stay up late and study. You know, all she did was, you know, read books and, and, and instead of watching TV. I could have did that, but no, I wanted to go hang out with my friends and like, be cool. And now I'm dying inside. There's people that wanted to open a business or wanted to to invent something. And they're sitting there watching TV and someone's on a backwards robe and they're making a million dollars. And you're like, what? That could have been me. But I was afraid to take the money out of my account to pay someone to make a snuggie for me. Think about that. Go through the pain. Go through the pain. It is so necessary for your growth. It is so necessary for your survival. Because still not speaking in a literal sense, you will live forever if you see your dream realized. Think of that. Think about that. And let that sit and stir and resonate in your mind. You will live forever if you see your dream realized. It is your duty to impact the world with whatever is in your heart that God planned inside of you to be great with. We all have dreams and we have aspirations that are not there for any short state. They're there because that's what you're supposed to do. Your dream will never be in my mind. Never. So what you do, you need to do because it can impact me. It can inspire me. It can change my life. You can live forever in me and in everyone else with the seeds that you plant based on what you do as a person, regardless of what it is. All the athletes that have gotten people from poverty, dreaming to the pro just because they wanted to be like this person who saw his dream realized. So whatever it is you have inside of you, please do not let it go to rest. Don't die a thousand deaths. Please don't. Live forever. God bless you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you.